Thank you. The member from Toronto, Danforth. Thank you, Speaker. Again, back to the Premier. Things are not all rosy out there. Hospitals in Sault Ste. Marie, London, Windsor, and Toronto are all facing massive increases to their hydro bills. At the same time, the Premier and their Liberal government are chronically underfunding frontline health care and promising that their Phantom Hydro plan will include just 2 per cent hydro relief for hospitals. Will the Premier tell people in any of these communities how a measly 2 per cent savings on their hospital's hydro bill will ensure good quality care in their community? Minister of Health and Long Term Care. Well, Mr. Speaker, we went through this, uh, I think, as we remember yeah. yesterday, where various examples were given. Uh, Hamilton was an example that was provided, uh, where I referenced that we gave Hamilton Health Sciences last year a 3.6 per cent increase in their operating budget. Twenty-nine and a half million additional dollars to that, uh, that corporation to assist them in not only uh, providing and maintaining a sustainable operating budget, but also many new and important advancements that uh, lead to the high quality of care that they provide. But I have to say I'm deeply disturbed that the member opposite continues to revisit Sault Ste. Marie, because that hospital had to go out publicly and oppose what had been declared and asserted by the uh, the member, uh, the leader of his party. And this, the hospital had to go out publicly in the media and say that, that while elected electricity costs have risen over the past five years. Those increases yes, have not resulted in layoffs at the hospital, and no decisions have been made based on Thank those uh, electricity costs, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Again, back to the Premier. This problem is widespread. Access to information documents reveal that Health Sciences North in Sudbury and Peterborough's Regional Health Centre both saw their hydro consumption rates reduce over the same period of time as their hydro bills went up. That just doesn't make any sense. Can the Premier tell us if her 2 per cent savings at least gives hospitals enough hydro relief to stop their bills from going up while the amount of energy they use goes down? Minister. Well, here we go again, Mr. Speaker. So. Well, okay, Health Sciences North. You mentioned it. I'm going to respond directly Chair, to that to that to that issue. Health Sciences North, we we provided them last year in a budget that they voted against, Mr. Speaker. We provided them with a 3.2 percent. Last chance. Carry on. So Health Sciences North received eight point. Eight million new dollars last year for their operating budget, and Mr. Speaker, it, Peterborough Regional Health Centre, a 4.3 percent increase in their operating budget last year, 9.4 million uh, new dollars provided to them in a budget last Answer. year, in a budget that they voted against. Mr. Yeah. Thank you. Final supplementary. Again, Speaker to the Premier. This is a widespread problem. The people of Niagara are worried about their hospitals too. The Niagara Health System saw a 96 per cent increase in their hydro bills over six years. That translates to $2.8 million that could have been used to invest in more nursing hours or in potentially life-saving equipment. Why won't the Premier just come clean and tell people in Niagara, in Peterborough, in Sudbury and across the province? that our 2 per cent hydro relief for hospitals is just part of our phantom plan, a not-so-thinly-veiled attempt to buy support before the next election. That's what it's all about. Thank you, Minister. So, Mr. Speaker, again, the uh, electricity costs for hospitals average approximately 1 per cent of their total budget. That means that 99 per cent approximately goes to all of the other expenditures. But to specifically, as was referenced, Niagara Health System, Mr. Speaker, last year received a 2.5 per cent increase in their operating budget, amounting to $9.4 million. And that was more than enough to cover their increase in electricity costs last year, but substantially increased their operating budget for all of those other elements, the other 99 per cent of the activities that take place in the hospitals, Mr. Speaker, that are so important to delivering 
high quality care there and around the province. Yeah. Thank you.